Hey, once again, I'm being forced to do a blog instead of being over there in my editing suite. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure something to do in a minute. Meantime, roll the intro. Hey there, Flynn567 here. Uh, you can see I've got a slightly different backdrop than usual. We normally use the, uh, the poster wall, the DVD wall, uh, to do these, but I keep getting pulled away from my editing, so I thought, sod it, why don't I show you where I live? Uh, Sean, this is his station, currently working on the vlogs, literally went straight from his vlog to, it was actually from his vlog to Ryan's vlog, and now he's editing the vlogs, and he's still in his suit. What a trooper. In fact, do you know what? He's quite good at this, so I think we're still going to steal his time, hopefully some of his power. They look better on me, bitch. So in Blue Paint Productions this week, uh, we've, uh, oh, I'm going to try that again. In Blue Paint Productions this week, we've had the Let's Play. Uh, that was fun to edit, nice and simple. Uh, however, the exporting and uploading was a pain in the backside. We had error after issue after issue. However, uh, hopefully you've, you'll watch it, you'll have fun with it, and you'll help us make more in the future by clicking the like and subscribe on our channels. And maybe even suggesting what you want to play, or even if you want to play with us. Uh, that way you get to beat us up. That could be fun. At the beginning of the week we had uh, Ryan's Bargain Basement Reviews. That was a lot of fun actually, but it was a big project. We had lots of different cuts and Ryan's first time sitting in the camera doing that sort of thing. So we had to edit quite a lot out of it. Uh, that's why I had f fun making the outtakes because it took me so long to edit. I decided to take a break and about 40 minutes later we had an outtake reel. Uh, Ryan was particularly happy about that, weren't you Ryan? Huh? Sean literally just pointed out that I said I took a break of editing by editing. I took a break by editing something fun. Uh, he's still to get the fact that it can be fun. I love editing. I love editing me. <laughs> Hopefully this weekend we will be doing a couple sofa reviews. This is far more relaxed than the former one man reviews. It'll just be myself and Ryan, perhaps even Sean or someone else sitting on the sofa talking about the movie of choice. And of course, the first pick went to Ryan. I he I drew the short straw. He got a pick. It wasn't fair. I tell you, he cheated. It's just wrong. But uh, he gets to pick his film, and it is. What is it, Ryan? War of the Dead. War of the Dead. In case you haven't guessed, it takes place in World War Two. It has Nazis and zombies. With Wolfenstein coming out, we've decided to do a Wolfenstein let's play. Uh, that'll be Ryan playing that. So you'll hear lots of swearing, hopefully. And we're going to make Sean play Oblivion on the PC so we can add mods to it as well. So there was a two Let's Plays we're going to have hopefully one every week. But we've got a bit of a problem with the setup right now. So we're going to get that sorted out and get them out to you as soon as possible. News that matters to me this week. In science, the United States are producing a drone which is solar powered. Which is great because it's an eco drone and it doesn't use up all the fuel. Coalesce carbon dioxide, blah, blah, blah. Fortunately, it's still a surveillance drone and it's going to be up there without maintenance for five years. Best of all, the picture of this drone has a nice big American flag on the side. Like it's saying, America, bringing you unnecessary surveillance for the modern age. Scientists have come up with a new way to turn algae into usable fuel. There are processes to do this already, but they're expensive and time consuming. This one is relatively simple and can be done within an hour. This is hopefully a revolution in the way we use fuel. If you're the owner of a good smartphone and you've always wanted to do something that can help people, well now you can. There's this new app called Power Sleep. When you go to bed at night, you charge on your phone, you turn on the app and you tell it what time you want woke up in the morning, just like any other alarm clock. However, while you sleep, it will connect to the Wi-Fi in your house and download a data packet. This data packet will then be processed through your phone, re-uploaded to the internet, with everyone else who's doing it, and this all goes back to whatever university group that's using it right at that night to help them conduct their research. So you can go to sleep at night knowing that you're actually doing good while you're asleep. Doesn't that make you feel better? Uplifting scientific news for a change. Normally when you have a rover and it disappears, that's it. That rover will never ever be seen again. But the Chinese have confirmed that their lunar rover, known as the Jade Rabbit, has in fact emerged from the dark side of the moon, still alive and sending messages back to Earth. This is a rarity and great to hear. Slightly more random news now, if, do you have an eBay account? Do you have say, three to four million dollars lying around? If you do, you can buy a Russian bomber. The TU-95MS, 
was a huge part of the Cold War and is more commonly known around the world as the Bear. As an added bonus, it was this class of bomber that actually dropped the world's largest nuclear weapon, the Tsar. Not this particular plane, mind you, but still, you can own one for four million quid. I don't know, kind of tempting. If I had the money, it would be nice to own a bear. Can you tell me what's happening in this picture? No, I can't either, but I'd love to find out. Meanwhile, in Japan... <laughs> our mate Chris has been coming by for a chat. Hopefully he's going to be involved in a few podcasts in the future. There's been an argument going on in the flat between him and Ryan, and we've been getting into it as well. In fact, Sean, do you want to come up here and join me? Uh, Sean, do you remember the argument between Chris and Ryan has been going on for like a week and a bit now? A bit Iron Man or Superman? Yeah, who would win in a fight, Iron Man or Superman? Superman. S Good will always triumph over Paul Bagness. Do you mind, Iron Man? Before we go, there's been a bit of a fight here at Blue Paint Productions. Who would win in a fight, Iron Man or Superman? It's up to you, I want you to hear it. Post it here, post it in Blue Paint Productions. Ask your friends, ask them to post it here. Ask them to post it in Blue Paint Productions. And then tell them that I said, Iron Man would kick Superman's ass. Ryan, I don't want to hear it. Not a word. So, I've been Flynn for Blue Paint Productions. Enjoy your argument and the links. Everything I've said here today will be down in the dump below. Enjoy. The end.